Hey guys, what's going on? Tarbark here. Today we're going to be playing some more Farming Simulator 2019 on Sandy Bay. And first thing, we got to take out a little small loan. A couple thousand for now. And we're going to buy our tractor here. So we're going to buy the old 4640, put some duels on it. 27,000. And then we're going to go and buy our plow. And that'll probably be our plowing tractor for today. 160 horse, what's our 70, 55? So this is our biggest tractor still. 7210. This is the first time I've seen it. Looks like lights don't work, which a lot of models don't. Looks like nothing works in the cab either. But the textures look pretty good. Um no like muffler really but yeah this is the old uh, the chisel plow that I converted from last year 2017 looks like this tractor's got a little power a little power to it should be able to pull up 4640 it's one of my favorite tractors um, the 4020 that one's also pretty good yeah, today we're going to be plowing up some uh, fields. We're going to plow both of our two fields, and we might plow the hay fields up later on in the year. I'll probably do that next Wednesday or Thursday, probably next Friday. That's when I'll for sure probably have it done. We'll see. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and take our new tractor home and chisel. And actually, we're going to take it to field 20 or 18. Which, which one is it? 18. We have 23 and 18. So we'll take it to 18. And we're going to see you guys when I get there. Okay, so we're rolling in. And when I was driving this down the road, I realized that, well, I already knew it didn't have lights. But I realized that it doesn't have a fuel gauge. So we'll probably end up running it out of fuel. So that isn't really good. This thing probably won't be able to pull it. Yeah, we'll probably have to get the case to pull it, but we'll see. We'll give her a chance. It's pulling pretty good. It's working. You can definitely tell it. That's kind of cool. It's like spinning right now, and then it takes off. And so it's more realistic on that part of it. Like, hits hard spots and stuff. Yeah, it fights. Like just go and then you stop and then go and then you stop. That's weird. It's pulling it though. Not very fast. I might go get the case and see how fast it pulls it. Yeah, it's not wanting us to pull it very good. The turn here. Plus you can't turn very short with this chisel. Don't know what it is about it, but you just can't. I think it's just because it's on cultivated ground. I think we'll be able to pull it fine on this ground, but we'll see. We'll go get the case, hook it onto it, and we'll go from there. Now, we went ahead and jumped in the case, and it's out of fuel because we never filled it, ever. And I think there is fuel tanks somewhere right here. We'll put about a half a tank or so in it, maybe. Maybe we'll just fill it up. We'll see what it costs to fill one of these tractors up with fuel. Alright, $500 worth of fuel put into this tractor. That's pretty good fuel prices. It's better than like 4000 what it was last year. It's more, more realistic. It still is a high price, but it is a game, so... And you do make a good amount of money. go right next to it. Now I don't know how this is going to pull with the tires like they are. I'll probably just spin them on it. It's pulling at about 6, 5 mile an hour. Steady 5. Now steady 6. But I think we'll use this tractor to pull it. We will use the 
John Deere to plant with the planter or maybe the drill tomorrow because I guess we're drilling this to beans well I guess we can plant it to beans too plant the other field to bean or to corn we won't have to buy a drill this year but I think we are going to buy a drill just because I want to have it in the game and I already converted it so I already know what it is if you guys want to guess what it is go ahead but, uh, yeah, we're going to get to cultivate in this field. Probably won't do a lot of it today. Um, it'll probably be kind of a short video. I don't know how long it'll be. But, uh, yeah, we'll probably tack hanging on to it. In fact, I'm going to go jump in the telehandler right now. I should still have my joystick set up. Oh, well. Oh. It's all messed up now. That's weird. There. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with it. That's weird. So. That's fine. We can use the. No, we can't. This is tricky. I don't like using the mouse very easily. Um. Yeah. So we'll find the. Lift hydraulic. Hydraulic hitch, hydraulic hitch, lift, front loader arm. We'll go back. Yeah, now it says Y. That's weird. Safe controls. There it is. Perfect. Should still have the dump and the tilt. Forward, backward. Alright, we're good to stack some hay. So I think we'll just go out in the field. And we will... Spear some bales. Maybe do a little time lapse. We'll see. We might load some hay. Actually, I don't think we'll load it. Just because it's so close. We'll do this, and we will get that other field plowed. Probably just hire a worker on the plow, because it's kind of slow right now. Because we don't have that big of a tractor, really, to run that plow. But we'll probably time-lapse it. I'll sit in there and run it for a little bit. I'm trying to get some videos out, because this weekend I will be gone for three days, and... So the videos will probably be quick and short and not as good, but at least it's better than nothing. 